This woman called off her wedding after her fiancé cheated at his bachelor party. And now his parents are upset. Is she the arsehole? Bachelor parties are a tradition meant to celebrate the final night that a guy is single before tying the knot. It's normal to let loose, but sometimes people go way too far. That is very true. People do go way too <laughs> they far. They do go way yeah, too far. Yeah, they get well too excited at a bachelor party. I, they, some people see it as like a free pass. Like, yeah. Just like, it's like, oh, well, I'm single for tonight. You're yeah. like, no, 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 you're no. Not quite, you've got the wrong idea. No, that's not <laughs> That's not a hall pass. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel like it has got confused between like hall pass and bachelor Last party. Last night of freedom. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah, ball and chain. And that's exactly the case when it comes to this story told by a woman who sought advice from strangers on the Am I the Arsehole subreddit about her recent decision to end her two year engagement. Me and my fiance have been together for two years. It was our wedding eve and I was having my bachelorette party and he was having his bachelor party. So my bachelorette party was just a little thing with some of my girlfriends and family at home with drinks that the family put together for me. Oh, very sweet. Oh, cute, cute, how wholesome. On the other hand, my fiance's bachelor party was at a bar with a huge party, which is perfectly fine with me. But halfway into my party, my friend runs up to me with a video of my fiance getting a lap dance from one of the girls there. Then, he, then she showed me the next video. These were on Snapchat stories. The video was my fiance licking a mixed drink off a girl's breast and another video of him making out with a girl and then another girl right after her. Who's, who's the, who took these videos and sent it? Like, well, that's like some sort of like police chain, isn't it? Like, well, yeah, yeah well, she, what she's saying is they're like Snapchat stories. So yeah. I'm guessing it's like his mates and stuff going, way, putting them up on the Snapchat stories. And obviously some of her girlfriends we'll have got them, them as yeah. friends and we'll see it. Oh, so clever a, work, fella. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, it sounds like from that, there's no getting away. There's no like, oh, I fell over or... It was an accident. Because oh. when you're taking like, a drink off some lass's breast, it's hard to try to fumble an excuse out of that that isn't what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, there's no hiding that. And, it, and it's not one of them ones where you can go, oh, well, you know, all, all the lads were doing it, but I weren't getting involved, babe, because mm. I feel like that's a, an excuse you hear a lot yeah, from it is. boys on bachelor parties. <laughs> I was upset and confronted my fiancé about it when he'd gotten home the day of our wedding. He got all defensive and said, it's what guys do on their bachelor party nights. It's the last night we have been single, babe. He oh. was hungover and I was furious because I understand, but you just don't go making out with other girls and licking drinks off their breasts. Completely agree. Yeah, yeah. so he's saying, so he's going for the old... So he, it's not a bachelor party, it's a, a night of being single. Yeah, essentially. And he's like Googled it and gone, well, it must mean I'm single for that night, so it's totally fine. Yeah, gosh, it's what we do, babe. Come I on. mean, I could accept a lap dance, fair enough, as long as it could wasn't. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's interesting. So, so <sighs> the, night before, the night before your wedding, you could accept that your, your fellow would just start getting ground on by some bird. I'd pick the girl. <laughs> So okay. I'm like, yeah, Saucy. you can have a lap dance. <laughs> I'm going to choose her. But it's a munter. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the best way to do it. So yeah, I can choose her. I think that's fine okay, okay. if I vetted it. But but, so you can accept it? What about shots off? No, tits? I'm not a fan of that. No, 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 no that won't be vibing with that. No. I mean, I've done shots off people's boobs before, yeah. but do you know what I mean? It's it's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. is that on your only fans? Yeah, absolutely. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to try and forget it and go on with the wedding until he was in the shower and his phone kept going off. We do have a rule where we don't go through each other's phones unless there's a reason and we have to let the other person know if we are going through them. Who has a rule about going through people's phones? The people that are very insecure. I never go through yeah. your phone. I, I wouldn't think about more it. worse and like, what's it to do with me? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's when you get that gut feeling, I guess. Of yeah. I don't like this feeling. I feel like something's going on. Yeah, I need to true. investigate. Yeah, I need to go further. <laughs> need to go all private, yeah. private eye on him. Literally. Like, right. 
<laughs> getting hacking into his phone, going right, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah, nine times out of ten, you do find stuff. So. I can honestly say I've never looked through your phone. Yeah, same. unless I like look for needed like a photo or something. But I've never like looked at your messages or no, anything. Same. I mean, I might have used it to order something on Deliveroo yeah. or something. I've never like gone that, through it to try and find anything. <laughs> yeah, but you just got a suit, like a nice, secure, loving relationship. Aww. So it's fine. I'm not sweet. Cry for a bit. That deserves to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe for our love. <laughs> I wasn't going to touch it. All right. Oi, oi. All right. Well, the phone, are <laughs> I wasn't going to touch it, oh, but you know, I'm, one I'm thing led to another. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to touch it, but it kept going off with people sending him photos from the night before. Wait, just pause. But she already, at this point, she is already very fully aware of what happened the night before. Yeah. So she's fully within her rights to look at that phone. Yeah. Do you yeah. think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fully. She knows. She's, yeah. She's already seen it. He's already admitted to it and said, oh, it's fine. So she's got no. I just think go for, if I were yeah. it, it's go through it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, ki I'm kind of with you. She's there, got a to pass, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so his phone's going off. All photos from the night before. So I decided to look at the videos to see if I missed anything. It was photos of my fiance in bed with two girls with no clothes on. Oh. <sighs> So this is... Oh, God. Oh, God. So, oh, no. So he's kind of admitted to the, the lap dancing and the shots, but he hasn't admitted to actually sleeping with anybody. No, and like, let's be clear, he's not admitted to anything. All his mates have been putting stuff on Snapchat. Yeah. Her friends have seen that, and she's had to confront him. Yeah, so and no he's just point, gone, yeah. I'll freeze. You know what you're worried about. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So at no point has he gone, babe, we need to talk. I did some things last night that I'm not proud of. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not what's happened here. Yeah. Who? He's so gone, she's oh. gonna go full psycho while he's in shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, she's babe. Like, <laughs> shower. It's fine. <laughs> it's cool. I turned his phone off, went in the bathroom, and told him the wedding was off, and I need time to process what has happened. He asked why, and I said, "Look at your phone and see." He then changed the whole subject and went insane over the searching phones roll. I told him. Boyfriends don't fuck other girls just because it's their last night, not as a husband. He cussed at me and then begged for me to keep the wedding on. I walked out and said no. Good. Good for Good you, girl. For her. girl. Good for her. Go fuck, you. Fuck him, loser. What's uh, that? How's he snapping at her? It's that. It's that like defensive behaviour, like turning it around. Yeah, like and... you know you're in the wrong. You know it. So why are you doing this, like? Well, you like, went through my phone. Yeah, don't what? get through the light. Don't go through my phone. Uh, all, right, all right, mate. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. It's been two days now, and his family is upset with me because I called off the wedding too soon and ruined their son's day. Everyone who was at my bachelorette party is on my side, saying it's his fault and he needs to realize that he's in the wrong. Should I talk to him about it and reschedule the wedding? I do love him, but I'm not sure if this was a red flag that can lead to a future with him. Am I the arsehole? Oh my god! You poor what? little soul. You, no. you did not reschedule that wedding. No, not at all. Don't you dare! A leopard never changes its spots, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I, like. I, oh no! Wait. How, how's he getting off so light? Like light here? Yeah. I know. I feel. Is just slept with two birds? I know. No. I feel really bad that she's like questioning herself. Do you know what I mean? And I think that is because his family's turned around and probably give They're a oblivious. flack for cancelling the wedding. Well, yeah, but his family going to be hearing it from like his side yeah. yeah as well as her side so yeah. they're gonna who they're gonna believe more probably a little baby boy who's always been oh i only went to the drink and bought a girl a drink yeah. that's it oh. I, I tripped up and a breast fell out oh. <laughs> my oh. diet coke oh. spilled on it <laughs> oh no there were no cloths at the time so i had to lick it up oh. <laughs> i was doing her a favor oh. if i was here i'd arrange a family dinner with his parents and be like oh come over for dinner and i'd just tell them everything get and be a like, slideshow out yeah, yeah. <laughs> exhibit a Hey, yeah. yeah, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and I'm like, that's why I've ruined your son's day, because he's ruined the rest of my life. Uh, but even that, it's like a red flag from his parents as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd be like, I actually don't want to marry into not only him, but the family. Yeah, oh, if that's no. how they're reacting to it. I'm just really upset that she's kind of like, oh, you know, 
should I should I give him a chance? Should, am I overreacting? And I'm like, how are you even in that mindset? Yeah, but you do though when you're in that kind of mindset. You tend to think, oh, is, is there something wrong with me? Maybe mm. I've not done enough. And it is that kind of. Yeah, what have I done wrong? Where she's done nothing wrong. She's and she's going to be feeling dick. wedding pressure as well on yeah. top yeah. of that. Pressure from other people, pressure from that. But like, if she lets him off and get married, then that's just a red flag. She'll never that, get yeah. over it. She'll never get over it and he'll do it again. Yeah. yeah. Guarantee well, you. Like, I think doing something like that, you're kind of setting yourself up for, well... I know what the rest of this relationship's gonna be. Yeah, you're never gonna trust him again. The uh, night before. Well, they didn't anyway. If, yeah, yeah. The night before, and if like going through each of us phones already, then this happens. Then literally, she's gonna have like a tracker on his car. Yeah. yeah. Still won't be enough though. Yeah. No. That's what I mean. She'd be checking his phone every day, and she'd be like, "Where are you going?" Sniffing she his will. pants. Yeah, literally stalking <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffing his fingers when he gets in. Yeah. What have you been doing? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you had fish fingers today. <laughs> you had a tuna sandwich or what? Should we go into the store? You. Going, what did he buy for dinner? <laughs> Stings of fish. Did he get a tuna sandwich or not? <laughs> no, he had ham. You cheating bastard! How dare you? <laughs> yeah, it's never gonna be the same again. No. So this this poor poor woman. Yeah. What are you saying? Is she is she an arsehole? She couldn't be further away from an arsehole. No. Yeah. She's being too nice. Yeah. yeah. Too anyway. nice. No, she's not an arsehole at all, at all. Find someone that treats you better. Yeah, and even if she put him in boot and drove 30 miles and left him in <laughs> desert, I'd still like you're not an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still yeah. like, yeah, fair enough, you've done the right thing. You could be more of an arsehole. But, <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? It, you know, is she the arsehole? Is she not the arsehole? Make sure to pop it in the comments below. And if you do put that <laughs> she isn't the arsehole, prepare to be rinsed by these two. <laughs> Hello there, humans. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck.